Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will be transforming an equation of the parabola from standard form to general form. Last time we were we were able to transform the general form of the parabola going to its standard form. But today we will be doing um, the transformation from standard going to general so all the given here we have four problems all the given here are in standard form of the parabola and what we'll be doing is to transform this into general form again this is the general form x squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero or y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero where d is the coefficient of x where e is the coefficient of y where f is the constant Okay, and this is the standard form. If it is opening up or down, that becomes x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times the quantity y minus k. And if it is going, if the parabola opens to the left or to the right, its equation will be y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times the quantity x minus h. Okay, so I guess we're now ready to transform the standard going to general form. Okay, so we are given number one x plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 20 times the quantity y plus 5. We are given here the standard form and we're asked to transform this into general form. So what do we do? Just like what we have done in transforming the equation of the circle, if we are given x plus 2 quantity squared and we are given groupings and then it contains an exponent. And what do we do with that? Very good. We need to expand so for my past videos i was able to tell you how to expand easily so again let's expand x plus 2 quantity squared so this becomes x times x x squared okay we have x squared 2 times 2 is 4 4 times x that becomes 4x and then for the last term that is 2 times 2 yes that is 4 is now equal to distribute 20 to the group therefore it becomes 20 times y we have 20 y 20 times 5 that becomes plus 100 so what do we do now transfer all the terms from the right side going to the left side okay it becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4. Positive 20 going to the left, it becomes minus 20. Why? Positive 100 going to the left, that becomes minus 100. Is now equal to? Very good. That is 0. So, let's now have the general form. General form, that is x squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Right, x squared. We now have x squared and then x. Therefore, that is plus 4x. What else? We have ey. Therefore, that is minus 20y. What happens? Plus 4 minus 100 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have here two constants. So, let's get their sum. That becomes x squared plus 4x minus 20y. Positive 4 minus 100 yes exactly that is negative 96 is now equal to zero and that is now the general form of this standard form of the parabola again that is x squared plus 4x minus 20y minus 96 is equal to zero again all we have to do is to expand the terms inside the parentheses so next we are given y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to negative 16 times the quantity x plus 4. So, let us expand. y minus 1 quantity squared. y times y. Very good. y squared. Negative 1 times 2. That is negative 2 times y. Therefore, that is minus 2y. Negative 1 times negative 1. That is plus 1. Is now equal to. So, what happens to negative 16? Distribute. That becomes negative 16x negative 16 times positive 4 okay that is negative 64 what do we do next 
transfer all the values from the right side going to the left side. And we'll be having y squared minus 2y plus 1 negative 16x transferred to the left side. It becomes positive 16x. Negative 64, transfer it out to the left side. It becomes plus 64 is now equal to 0. Okay, since we have y squared, what comes after y squared? That is plus dx. Therefore, that is plus 16x. What comes after 16x? We have plus ey. Therefore, that becomes minus 2y. And then all the constants, we have plus 1 plus 64 is equal to 0. Simplifying it further, we'll now be having y squared plus 16x minus 2y. The sum of the constants, positive 1 plus 64, will result to positive 65. And that equation is equal to 0. And that is now our general form. Okay? So that is how we transform from standard going to general. Let's have the third example. For the third example, we are given y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 12 times x plus 1. In this case, again, we need to expand. Therefore, y minus 3 quantity squared is just equal to y times y, which is y squared. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 times y is negative 6y. Negative 3 times negative 3, that is plus 9 is now equal to distribute 12 to the group and it becomes 12 times x that is 12x 12 times y that is plus 12 what do we do next transfer all the values from the right side going to the left side and it becomes y squared minus 6y plus 9 minus 12x, since this is positive, we transfer that out to the left side. So that is minus 12x, positive 12 to the left side, minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, since we have y squared, what comes after y squared? y squared plus dx, therefore the x variable, which is negative 12x. And then after the x variable, the y variable, that is minus 6y. And then all the constant, which is plus 9 minus 12 is equal to 0. Simplifying this further, we'll now be having y squared minus 12x minus 6y plus 9 minus 12. Okay, that is negative 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the general form now of the equation is y squared minus 12x minus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. And that is the general form. Okay? And for the last example, we are given x minus 4 quantity squared is equal to negative 6 times the quantity y minus 5. Again, let us expand. So in expanding, x minus 4 quantity squared, it is equal to x times x, x squared. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times x, that is negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 4 will result to positive 16 is equal to, what do we do with negative 6? Distribute to the group. So that becomes negative 6 times y will now be having negative 6y. Negative 6 times negative 5, negative times negative, that becomes plus. 6 times 5 is 30. Is, okay, so... Rewrite this, x squared minus 8x plus 16. So what do we do with negative 6y? Transfer that out to the other side, and that becomes plus 6y. What happens to positive 30? That becomes negative 30 is now equal to 0. Since we have x squared, what comes after x squared? The variable x, and that is minus 8x. And what comes after the variable x? Very good the variable y. So that becomes plus 6y. And then all the constant. Plus 16 minus 30 is equal to 0. Simplifying it further, we'll now be having x squared minus 8x plus 6y. Positive 16 minus 30. Okay, so that is negative 
14 is equal to 0. Therefore, the general form now of x minus 4 quantity squared is equal to negative 6 times the quantity y minus 5 is x squared minus 8x plus 6y minus 14 is equal to 0. And that is the general form of the standard equation of the parabola. Again, that is how we transform from standard going to general. The key word here now is to expand. Expand the term in the parenthesis. And I have um, already um, told you how to expand easily. So the technique. And remember the formula for a general form and for the standard form. Once again, I am Engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.